Hey there everybody, this is Caitlin here and welcome back to the latest Legacy Lost spoiler articles. Today we are diving right into the dark depths of water and darkness with our new queen, invading demon of water, Valentina, who has been possessing Prissy's body and giving her a bit of a fashion makeover with the strange kind of lingerie slash wedding dress slash conqueror outfit. I really have no idea what she's going for with this. It looks pretty bizarre. I mean, her normal wardrobe was pretty bizarre to begin with, but now she's wearing this weird kind of like hovercraft UFO cape, so I'm not quite sure where she's going with this. But anyway, she is our Dark Depths ruler, essentially. She's Water Darkness. Her judgement is one water, one dark and one void. Her energise is water and dark, so you can either produce water or darkness by banishing the coin if you go second. And she comes with two neat abilities on her ruler side, where if you play a water chant, a uh, target is near gains minus X attack until end of turn, where X is that chant's total cost. And then when you play a darkness chant, you can target a resonator and it loses X amount of defence, where the X is that chant's total cost. So, um, if you play the um, current dual type of water darkness spell, um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's like something to do with a cyclone or typhoon or something like that. I can't remember the full name. But um, you trigger both those abilities, so basically you're minusing attack and defense with that one spell. I feel like they are going to maybe come out with some more water darkness spells, just because, you know, it seems a bit silly um, not to have any more of those types of spells, whatever, if you're going to make Valentina this ruler. So I feel like they're maybe going to produce some of those as well. And as you can see from her flavor text at the bottom, she's like, all can be used and must belong to me. That is my conviction. And then if we flip over to her ruler side, she looks freaky as all hell. She is Valentina, Release Terror, who is a 1000-1000 J ruler, who is a conqueror now. We can pay one less to play Water Darkness cards, and it has to be a Water Darkness, so it's not um, either or, it has to be both those attributes. And she comes with this really strange ability here, which is Banish to Resonators. You can choose one, draw a card, or target or destroy target Resonator, which is kind of bizarre. So I'm not quite sure why she has that gimmick there, but um, uh, if you look in the background here, I'm pretty sure this gives us an indication as to what has happened to some of the six sages, because... Over here on this side, I'm pretty sure this is Moonstart because um, you're going to see later on that this is probably Moonstart. These two over here, I'm pretty sure that this is Almerius, if I remember correctly from the Six Sages or whatever, from their special uh, magic stones or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is Almerius because it looks like her hair. And then this one up here, I'm pretty sure it's the fire one. I can't remember his name off the top of my head because I know Grubalesta is the dark one. I can't remember what this guy's uh, name is. Uh, if, if you want to remind me in the comments, feel free below. I just can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. But I feel like she's maybe, like she's somehow discovered the six sages or whatever that um, uh, aren't hanging out with Feasting and Zero. Uh, or these three in particular, Gribblesta has apparently not been captured or possessed or under their control yet. So these three are, you know, under like valentine's spell or something like that which i think is insane considering that these are like all powerful six sages and like how the mighty have fallen and that they're now being controlled by a really crazy crazy woman inside a tiny girl's body <laughs> we're moving on to our resonators here and we have the illusory projection who is a water darkness 400 400 fantasy resonator when this card is uh, when this card is put into your graveyard from your field, you can put a 400-400 Water Darkness Fantasy Resonator token into your field. So essentially, it dies and it replaces itself, which is kind of neat. And we want to be building up these tokens because that's the kind of the idea with this deck. Because we get Illusion Wizard, who is a three cost, one darkness, one water, one void, 500-500. And when this card enters your field, you put a 400-400 Water Darkness Fantasy Resonator token into your field. And you can see down in the flavor text there, it's like, these illusions are interesting. I suppose I'll make use of them for a time, says Valentina, her conniving ways. And then we have the Deceptive Dream, which is a Water uh, Darkness uh, Resonator, of course. It's four uh, for the cost, Water, Dark, and to Avoid for 700-700. Fantasy yet again. This one kind of reminds me of uh, Juliet a little bit, or of the Dreams of Juliet card. I've no idea why, but it just reminds me of that. Uh, when this card enters your field, your opponent discards a card, and when this card is put into your graveyard from your field, you can draw a card. So you can do a little bit of control either way, if it like dies or it lives. And at the bottom here, you can see, I hoped we'd meet again soon, but not like this, says Zero. Who is Zero talking to? I believe she is talking to. Moonstar, Lady of Illusions, who, as you can see here, looks like she's become a bit of a puppet of Valentina's, because she's 
trapped in the red string of death and she's got this weird kind of like parasite looking thing growing out of the back of her head and her eyes look all glazed over so I'm pretty sure Zero is talking about Moosedart there and she seems to be like trapped in some kind of like I don't know if this is some kind of stasis or chrysalis or some kind of like holding cell or whatever that Valentina can drain her powers from but it looks pretty bizarre but she's a four drop uh, one darkness one water and two void for 800 800 she is flying. I don't know how she's flying right now because she's clearly not got any wings or whatever. She's being suspended from some sort of spaceship or something like that. Some kind of, like, craft. Um, she has these op- epic abilities where other water resonators you control gain 200-200 and other darkness resonators you control gain 200-200. And since most, like, pretty much the majority of our fantasy um, resonators are both of those types, we get a 400-400 boost because these two are separate abilities. So basically they get a 400-400 boost instead of just like a regular 200-200 boost, which is amazing. And now you can see why um, we are producing so many fantasy tokens because we can banish a fantasy resonator and this card gains barrier uh, until the end of the turn. So basically we can protect Moosedart from any of our opponent's chance or whatever um, by getting rid of the tokens and then making sure that all of our stuff still gets a buff, which is awesome. And then Gribaleste here is like, that's Moosedart? Seems she's gotten a bit strange, the Magic Stone Researcher. So Gribaleste seems to be safe. So uh, the only um, three, uh, the only six sages that I believe are still safe right now are Zero, Feasting, and Grubalesta. But obviously we have some indication of what might happen to Feasting, so I'm not going to talk about it. We'll wait until it is actually spoiled or not. And finally we have Remains of Ataratica, which is Valentina's special magic stone essentially. It's producing water and darkness, and obviously if Valentina is not your ruler or whatever, then it enters your field rested unless you pay 300 life. You know, same kind of shtick as the Faria one. But it has an extra ability where if we rest it, a target resonator token games 100-100 until end of turn. Which is a little bit like a bit of a meh ability, like I can't really think of any times where you'd want to boost a token. Mainly tokens are just there to be like, you know, like little, um... Uh, what's the word that I want to use? Like, cannon fodder or whatever? Like, you want them to chump block or whatever to just, like, you know, protect your bigger, better stuff or whatever, or you want to banish them to, like, fill out some effects or whatever. So, usually you don't really want the tokens to live, but, you know, that's another matter entirely. But, anyway... I am quite looking forward to using, uh, well, potentially building a deck with Valentina. Obviously, we'll need to like, find out some more um, information about the other cards that are going to support her because even though this is just like a small number, we're going to need like a bit more support for her if she's going to like really play out this like water dark fantasy type deck. So I'm really excited to see what else is going to kind of come out in the set. Obviously, I think we won't see any more indication of what's going to help Valentina until we're done going through the different rulers or whatnot. So maybe in like two weeks' time, we'll finally see what other stuff is going to support Valentina but um, I, I mean I feel a little bit conflicted about potentially wanting to use her after she killed Xion uh, and you know she basically killed Prissia as well for a matter of fact so uh, we'll just need to wait and see so until next time guys I will see you all later <laughs>